In the early days of automatic telephone exchange design, engineers faced many design challenges. The bedrock elements were mostly electromechanical devices, including relays. However, available system components were sparse, and new inventions were needed. Engineers dreamed of a standalone device that could be wired to count, or to select, or to sequence. Nothing practical existed. Sure, the Stroger 100 point switch was popular and could perform these operations. But it was complex and expensive with two degrees of motion. Something different was needed to solve the puzzle. In 1907, George Mueller made history. He filed a patent for the Dream device. It was often called a minor switch. Why minor? Because it was a minor version of its larger brother, the major, Stroger switch. The invention only had rotary motion. The patent provides figures and explains operations. We see the step and return electromagnets, the pawl and ratchet, and the stationary bank of terminals. Here is a real version faithful to Mueller's original concept. There are two electromagnets. One magnet rotates the wipers, one step at a time, and the other returns the wipers to a home position in one quick step. The wipers make contact with stationary rows of terminals at each position. This version has 10 steps and 3 terminals per step. Let's see it in action. This is the minor switch. Here's the step magnet, electromagnet. Here's the release electromagnet. Here's the terminal bank. There are 10 steps, including a home position. Here are the terminals on the back. There are 3 terminals per step. Here are 3 wipers. Down here, can't quite be seen, are the the pawl and the ratchet for moving it forward. So let's step it up. Now at this point, there'd be a connection between these wipers and this terminal here. So maybe a talk path would be going through here. When the call is done or the process is finished, this electromagnet will be energized and it'll reset in one step. Let's see that. Now the reset will occur, energizing in one step. Here is the minor switch in rotation. This one was likely used in an industrial application. The visible wire type is not typical of Western electric design. About 12 years after the minor switch was invented, Oscar Forsberg and Robert de Wignier, both engineers for Western Electric, filed a patent for a new type of rotary switch. It improved on the minor switch in several ways. First, there is no return electromagnet. The wipers only rotate in one direction across a semicircle of terminals following a 180 degrees arc. There is a second set of wipers ready to enter the arc as the first set exits. Very clever. Here is a Western Electric Type 206 rotary stepper switch based on the patent. It was a workhorse in some panel exchanges. Over time the need for more terminals grew and the Type 45 rotary stepping switch was invented by the Automatic Electric Company. This version was circa 1965. It has 12 terminals per step and 26 steps. It can step at up to 35 steps per second driven by an electromagnet. Finally, the Compact Type 44, made by the Automatic Electric Company and the C. P. Clare Company. It's a space saver with the number of steps limited to about 12. So that's it. A quick summary of the self-powered rotary stepper. The switches discussed are a cross-section of the many switch types that were produced from 1907 until the 1960s. More than 20 companies manufactured steppers during their prime. Representing the class starts with the minor switch from the Kellogg Company. Then the Western Electric's Type 200. 
the automatic electric company invented the Type 45. They also added the compact Type 44. In 1905, automatic telephone systems were in their infancy. New inventions were essential to improve effectiveness and reliability. Many clever engineers and leaders paved the way during the electromechanical age. Starting from the 1890s, the development of automatic telephone exchanges relied heavily on the ingenuity of engineers and inventors. Here are some of the towering names that helped invent the foundations of telephony and switching systems. At the top of the list, of course, are Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Watson. Almond Stroger is the father of the electromechanical stepping switch. Alexander Keith made major contributions including the rotary dial. Muller and Forsberg were the fathers of the rotary stepper. Frank McBurdy was responsible for many innovations for the 7A rotary switch and the panel exchange systems. Edward Kraft, with the Western Electric Company, invented the flat spring relay. In 1930, his designs were the largest apparatus item in Western Electric production. John Reynolds, at Bell Labs, developed initial prototypes of the crossbar switch. Nils Palmgren and G.A. Bechlander from Sweden developed a popular version of the crossbar switch in 1919. To learn more about these and other giants, visit the calling315.com website.